Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the easiest way to install some faux locks. So you're going to need some clips and you're going to need to uh, clip up your hair. The first thing I'm going to do is take out a medium sized section, spray it down with some warm water and then I'm going to moisturize it with hair butter. Hair butter is my number one favorite moisturizer for my type 4 low porosity hair. It keeps my hair very moisturized underneath all my protective styles and this is basically all I use whenever I do a protective style and this is always the first step I do before I do any of my protective styles like locks, braids, and twists and yeah so I'm just going to continue to use medium sized sections uh, smooth on the hair butter onto that section on my roots, my shafts, and my ends on the entire hair strand and then I'm going to detangle and brush lightly with my Felicia Leatherwood detangler brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. It is black owned and it's my favorite. I've been using it for like a whole year or two years now and I really love it. Um, so yeah, so uh, my hair is also freshly washed. I don't know if I mentioned that. I just shampooed and use the hair mask if you want to check out my diy hair mask series you can um, but you can also just use a deep conditioner or a regular conditioner depending on your wash day and what your hair needs so again i'm just continuing to use medium sized sections to twist up my hair to moisturize and then i twist firmly all the way down and this is basically basically my routine and also this is the day before i do my actual hairstyle so yeah, so now I'm done. I'm going to let them air dry and then put on a silk scarf. And this is the next day. I've already pre-parted the front and back of my hair. I already made rows and then I twisted them into bantu knots to keep them in part. And I did the same thing for the back here. You see, I don't have that many parts in the back because the back, I don't really want to have too many in the back. So. I'm going to work in the first row. I'm using the Cuban Twist here. This is Shake and Go Cuban Twist color 1B. And I'm using one strand per lock for this video. So to do this easy braiding method, all you have to do is put the Cuban Twist hair in the middle of the section and then begin to braid as if the Cuban strand is the third strand of the of the braid <laughs> then you want to twist your regular hair down you want to braid to the middle then twist your regular hair down so that it's protected and then you want to twist that around that cuban twist hair then you want to take the duck bill clip off and use that other end of the cuban twist hair to wrap around the um braid you just did and you want to um take your time don't move too fast and you want to make sure you're covering the entire braid and you're not really overlapping and that it's nice and smooth so you, you want to use the pointer finger and thumb finger of the hand that's holding the braid to um just secure the wrapping and then once you get to the bottom you want to fold it up and then you want to start uh, wrapping upwards and as the ends get free and shorter you want to use each fray so that the ends are sealed and then now you want to magically seal your ends by uh, palm rolling them so that's basically how you install them and now I'm just showing you my braiding pattern or my parting pattern up front and it's really not a lot of locks I didn't want a lot and this took me two hours in total to complete uh, front and back. So this is all two hours. And I really love this lock installation method. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> so they were super easy. Hold on. So the locks were super easy to install. Like you guys should be able to do this. It's really easy. So now I'm gonna just use some yarn, multicolor yarn. So it's so So let me see. I'm gonna make this just length, just a little longer than the lot. And I guess I'll start with this one that's hanging in my face. And I'm just gonna wrap like this. And keep crossing back and forth. Okay, so down here at the bottom, I'm gonna tie it. And I'm going to take both strings and wrap them around the end. 
Okay, and now I'm gonna just tie both strings together, tie it around the bottom, and then tie it one more time around the bottom. That's how that one looks. It's cute. Very pretty colors. This one, I'm gonna wrap right in the middle. So like this. I'm just gonna loop it on like this, and then start wrapping around. Okay, so when it starts to get short, I'll start wrapping just one, and then tie it, tie those two together. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess. Excess, 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 the excess, <laughs> the extra. Let's do another one. We're gonna make that one solid. This one is gonna be one. At the end, I'm gonna wrap the full string. One of them got short, so I stopped wrapping with it. I kept wrapping the other one until it got to the same length as the short one. And now I'm tying the knot about three to four times. Okay, then I'm gonna cut off the extra. Okay, which one should be next? I'm gonna go one in the back. Let's put it all at the edge. So I'm gonna loop this through and then tie this around. Okay, so one string is short, so I'm gonna let that hang while I wrap the other one. Okay, so now it's about the same length, so I'm gonna tie it again three to four times. This point at the end, I'm just gonna tie it so it's like straight wraps, you know? <laughs> I'm so glad these only took like two hours to do so uh, by straight wrap i mean like just wrap no extra wrapping at the bottom they only took two hours guys i can't wait to do it <laughs> and i'm gonna edit i'm gonna edit this video today what if i wrap it just halfway and then the rest wrap it all right let's wrap let's wrap oh oh you playing so I wrapped halfway and then, well I did the crossing thing halfway and then wrapped in the middle. I love these. I think this is my favorite one to do. I'm gonna do another one of those in the back. A person personal. Welcome to my bathroom. Okay, so I just looped it. And I'm wrapping. And I'm gonna tie it one, two, three, and the extra. Let me check and make sure. Let me check and make sure I covered most of them and they look right. Okay, so this is the final look. This is the final look, everyone. I love the line so much and I love the blue accents. <laughs> And it was so easy to wear. They didn't itch at all. And now I'm going to show you guys my go-to hairstyle when I wear my short faux locks. I usually just put it up like in a half, half up, half down style. And also I'm using the puff cuff. So if you want to try out puff cuffs for yourself, you can use my discount code Chrissy on their website. And now it is a week later and I actually like how these faux locks progress in age. They look so natural. So now I'm just showing you guys how I take them out. I just untwist or unwrap and cut a piece of the cutie twist hair, slide down the lock and then unbraid a little bit to pull it out. So again, I'm gonna cut the Cuban Swiss hair, slide down the lock, and then unbraid and untwist until the Cuban Swiss hair slips out. And it's really easy to come out. I knew this would maybe a concern for people uh, to understand how you take out the braiding locks and if the locks will get stuck in your hair. Nope, they just come right out and slip right out. And also the strings, if you have your hair, uh, if you use the hair wrap like I did, the color wrap, then just cut the string first and then cut the lock. And then you should be good. 
So check out more full life videos on my channel. Thumbs up this video if you loved it. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.